said amen. I don't know about you, but I'm so glad to know that it's all about him. It ain't about us. It ain't about our outfits. It ain't about our careers, our finances. It's about none of that. But it's all about him. And as the Bible says, let everything that has breath, praise ye the Lord. If you have your Bibles, be so kind and turn with me to the book of Isaiah. Just one verse. Matter of fact, won't we'll even be preaching from this verse, but using this verse as a luncheon pad. The book of Isaiah, chapter 49. The book of Isaiah, chapter 49, and taking one verse out of there, found in verse number 15. And the word of God reads as follows. As God is speaking. Can a mother forget her nursing child? Can she feel no love for the child that she has born? But even if that were possible, I will not forget you. That's all I want. If anyone asks what preach the old preacher man, you tell him he came from Isaiah 49, verse number 15. And for a topic on today, how about this? Some things a Christian should never forget. Something. Christians should never, ever, 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 ever. Forget. It amazes me. From time to time, we come across our Christian brothers and sisters, whether it's in our neighborhoods, on our jobs, in the community. And from time to time, it just seems like they have what's called Holy Ghost amnesia. For some reason, they just forgot. They walk around and act like they are holier than thou. That they have never sinned, never erred, never made any mistakes. And in their mind, they have just completely Forgot. Oh, you must have been reading yes, my sir. notes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. To forget something means, good God Almighty, is, is absent from your mind. Yes, to forget something means that, good God Almighty, you can't rack up, you can't pull it up, you can't recollect what you was looking for or trying to think of. You have forgot. I'm here to let you know as Christians, you should never forget certain things that has happened in your life. Because the good and the bad and everything in between, it took all that to make who you are right now. Some of you wouldn't be who you are if it wasn't for some of the hell that you went through. So I thank God for the for, for the stumbling blocks that you and I might have had to uh, good God I might have trip over everyone. I thank God for the troubled water that we had to cross over. Because it reminds me, good God I might have, how far all of us have came. Y'all gonna talk to me? Uh, I'm so glad that Isaiah, good God I might have, reminds us that the Lord, good God I might have, he uses the illustration of using, good God I might have, the, uh, 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 the, the idea of a mother. Come on now, the illustration of a mother because a mother is, is caring and, and she's she's nurturing and good God am I, someone who has carried you all the years, pushed you out. Yeah. Yeah. He asked a rhetorical question, can a mother forget? Good God am I, and, and if she can't forget, surely good God am I, God Almighty. <laughs> I feel that thing. 
And since God can't forget, you and I, good God of mine, surely sure know, uh, 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 shouldn't forget. Don't forget where you came from. Don't forget, good God of mine, who helped you along the way. Come on now. Don't forget, good God of mine, when times was hard. You every once in a while, it's good to look over your shoulder. To appreciate the day, sometimes you gotta look back at yesterday. Yeah. And that'll give you hope for tomorrow. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I got issues oh, with folks who act like they, good God Almighty, ain't did nothing wrong, they ain't had no struggles, everything was peaches and cream. Yeah. Jesus came down from heaven, told the doctor to take the day off, and he went in there and delivered to himself. Right in good God of mine. Yeah. Called himself uh, baby, uh, baby Jesus Jr. They better sit their butt down somewhere. Yeah. Any real folks in here know about some struggles? Yeah. Knew about some pain? Yeah. Knew about the past? Yeah. And there's some things that all of us should just never forget. Yeah. Good God of mine. Yeah. And with that being said, I'm so glad. That the God I serve still got my memory bank working. I might stutter with it. I might have to say, uh, 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 uh. But eventually it's going to come out. And so on today, I want to use four Bible stories that's found in our Bible. So cook this old sermon up right quick. And I'm going to deal with these four, these four M's on today. All right. The four M's would be uh -huh. your miserable condition. All, right. all of us once upon a time had a miserable condition. Secondly, all of us have done or had to deal with some mental conditions. Right. Yeah, yeah, y'all remember the song, Don't Push Me Because I'm uh, Close to the Edge. Yeah, I'm trying, yeah. Not to lose my head. <laughs> yeah. It's like a jumper sometimes. Yeah, make you wonder. Uh, keep it going. Come on now. So y'all let me know already. Y'all remember y'all past. The third M that I want to talk about is the more condition. Yeah, all of us, all of our morals ain't been squeaky clean. And it's good to remember your past. Yeah, then we'll close it out with the last M. Man. The mess of our condition. Yeah. Well, let's deal with the first one. Uh -huh. The miserable condition. Yeah. Yeah. There was a woman in the Bible uh -huh. whose condition was miserable. Oh, yeah. Found in John chapter 4. Yeah. The woman, good God of mine, at the well. And she can never forget who it was that found her. Found, she found herself walking to the, to, the, to the well in the middle of the day. Lo and behold, who was sitting there? The master. Yeah, she'll never forget the words that came from his lips. When Jesus said, believe in me, because the time shall come. Uh -huh. Good God of mine. Now, no matter where you're at, uh -huh. good God of mine, they that worship him uh -huh. must worship him in spirit uh -huh. and in truth. Uh -huh. Thank God, good God of mine. We got a church to come to. Uh -huh. But even if I don't make it to this building, uh -huh. I still got a church to go to. Uh -huh. Because Jesus is upon this rock. I'll build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail. What is the rock? That rock of revelation. And I got to understand it, that Jesus is my Lord and my Savior. That I'm a part of the church. Come on now. We are the body of Christ. She'll never forget that whale. In the middle of the day, good God of mine, trying to avoid the chitter chats. She'll never forget, good God Almighty, the water that he offered her. He said, that water you drink right here, <laughs> drink it now, you're going to want something later. 
But I got some water that'll make you thirst no more. Good God, Lamar. Some living water. Ain't you glad to have a little living water? And she can never forget the willingness to help her. And I'm so glad that God still has the willingness to help you and I as we make it from day in to day out. All I'm talking about is there are certain things that as a Christian you should never forget. And the first one is your miserable condition. How can you help somebody that was in the same condition that you was once in if you don't Hey, if you are not willing to humble yourself, swallow your pride and say, baby, I've been where you've been. I sit where you sat. I struggle where you struggle. I cried where you cried. I felt the pain that you're feeling right now. Anybody know about some misery? Talk to me, somebody. I know what I'm talking about. The second M, good God Almighty. Not only did we deal with the miserable, the miserable condition, don't forget about your mental condition. And when I think about the mental condition, I got to skip over to Mark chapter 5. Because there it was, a man, good God Almighty, out there running butt naked around the tombs. And I'm so glad, good God Almighty, when, when, when man can't deal with your issues, when, when folks and family can't deal with your issues, and psychiatrists can't with you is I got a King Jesus that knows how to deal with your and my issue, my mental issue. I got some mental issue that the Lord is still helping me with right now. Can I keep it a real? I'm on my way to heaven, but I still need help on my way to get there. Y'all better talk to me, somebody. You'll never forget. What sin caused him in his life. Do you know sin is a form of insanity? Sin will have you thinking crazy, talking crazy, acting crazy, looking crazy. This man will run around butt naked, cutting himself, and, and, and could not be restrained. No matter how many strong men try to hold him down. But there was something about the power of Jesus. Jesus ain't coming there with a, with, you know, with a, 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 with a baton to beat him down. He didn't come in there with no block in his hand. He didn't come with a whip. He didn't have no taser. Chasing somebody in, through, through the windows, parking lots. But he had power. He'll never forget, good God Almighty, yeah. that sin that enslaved his flesh. Yeah. Had him bound. <laughs> He'll never forget how, how he was shaming his family. He'll never forget how that sin separated him from his family and his friends. Yeah. He'll never forget. That's why I'm so glad that Jesus Good God Almighty has the power to set us all free. I don't care what you're bound up from the past. He can set you free right now. See, Bible illustrations in our Bible is something that you can relate to, to something that's personal in your life. And your personal issues is a really a conversation between you and the Lord. You don't have to tell nobody all your issues. But find you something that you can relate to and say, Lord, just like you delivered this man who was bound up, I've been bound up. Bound up with pornography. Bound up with chasing. Bound up with drinking. Bound up with lying. Bound up whatever the case may be. But he can set you free. Because who the son sets free? Oh, he's free indeed. I'm just talking about don't forget. You, you with me, bro, Chad? There's something we just can't forget. But not only should we not forget our miserable condition, not only should we not forget our mental condition, but thirdly, don't forget your moral condition. 
There's a story found in our Bible. In the book of John chapter 8. Yeah, dealing with the moral condition. Huh? The Bible says she was caught in the very act. Now, she was caught in the very act. That means she was also caught with another man. I'm just telling you. But it's amazing they brought her face. They brought her name up. But it takes two to tangle. Ain't that what the song says? It takes two to make a thing go right. Come on now. Yeah, you ain't forgot them songs either, huh? <laughs> She'll never forget who found her. The Godemus. Pharisees. Talking about they found her in the very act. Snatched her up. Brought her in front of everybody. Come on now. She messed up, y'all. But she also will never find, she will never forget who showed her favor. Good God Almighty. When she, good God Almighty, when she has some scars on her life. And the law, uh, 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 the client that she supposed to have been stoned to death publicly. But I'm so glad Jesus spoke up and said, He without sin. Good God Almighty. What I want you to do, I want you to cast the first stone. Show now, one by one, they had to drop, drop them rocks and go on about their business. Good God Almighty. And I'm so glad, good God Almighty, to have favor over my life and your life. Yeah, you might deserve, good God Almighty, punishment, but sometimes God will show you some favor, show you a little grace and mercy on this Christian journey. She'll never forget. That it was Jesus that forgave her. She thought she was dead. As it was. If you look up history. They had a way of killing you. That they would kill you in a certain spot. Down like by the city hall. Or down there in the populated area. And they would kill you in a square box. And when you die there, they plant a tree to represent you was killed in that spot. So in her mind, she seen all these other trees. And she thought she was going to be a dead kid. But Jesus saved her, forgave her, and then told her, go and sin no more. Some things you just can't forget. Can you think back over your life? Come on now, over more things that you really kind of got caught up in. And somehow the Lord still showed you a little grace and mercy. And you're still moving only by the grace and mercy. I know I'm right. Some folks still claiming cats and dogs and looking for every legal loophole when it's time for taxes. <laughs> That they know <laughs> can be a little more questionable. Y'all ain't talking to me. But I know when I go see my yeah, find every little legal hole. I said legal hole. Every every dollar you can to help pull me out this hole I'm in, Doc. <laughs> but let me leave that alone. She'll never forget. The fellowship that she had with, with Jesus. Yeah. And I'm so glad when, when Jesus accepts you, uh -huh. then all of a sudden you can have fellowship with him yeah. because you're thankful for him. You realize he's the Savior. You, you realize he's your hope. You realize he's your everything. Yeah. And if you, if you follow this lady, the, the same lady that was about to get stoned to death, she followed Jesus yeah. to the very end. And and uh, uh, supporting him physically and financially. I'm so glad to have somebody like that. Well, my time is about up. We dealt with three M's. We dealt with a miserable condition. We dealt with the mental condition. We dealt with the moral condition. But we got to get to the mess of the condition. Because you do know ministry is sometimes a mess. 
Because you have to deal with a little doo-doo every once in a while. It stinks a little, a little bit, but somebody got to help clean it up. Because once upon a time, y'all know a, you know a baby? As cute as they are. Woo, woo, they will light up a room. It'd be funkadelic. Because if you ain't got no water on that thing, good God Almighty. And that's just like how we smell in the nostrils of God. Sin has a way of being stinking and messy. Come on now. But when you got a savior, come on now, he knows how to look past all that. So dealing with this messy condition, I got to go to Luke chapter 23. Dealing with the dying thief on the cross. Come on now, because he'll never forget the mess that his life was in. Good God about it. But also he could never forget the love that Jesus showed him even while he was on the cross. Ain't you glad to have that love that comes from the Lord even when your life might be a mess, even when your life might stink a little bit, but God will still show you a little love. He'll never forget at the, at the look that he gave him when he looked him in his face. When he said, this day you shall be with me in paradise. You know, a look of compassion. A look of, I feel your pain. A look that there's some hope on the other side. The look. He'll never forget, good God Almighty, the load that was taken off that man. Come on now, you're going to be with me on the other side. You, you ain't got to worry about going to hate these. And I'm here to let you know, I don't care how bad your life being in the past. There's hope if you just look to the Lord. There's always hope if you just look to the Lord. But he won't, he'll never forget. The life of the one who took his place. Good God Almighty. He understood that Jesus Christ was hanging on that cross for his sins, my sins, your sins, and your sins is even on that Facebook live. He took all of our sins, took them to a hill called Mount Calvary, died for our sins, died for our discretions, died on the cross. So we can have forever life with him, eternal life with him. He took our miserable abuse for us. He took our mental abuse for us. He took the mess of this world for us so we can have life on the other side. Don't you never forget how much Jesus loves you. Don't you never forget how much Jesus cares for you. Don't you never forget where your love is rooted in. Your love is rooted in Jesus Christ. And when you made up your mind that I'll never forget how good God's been to me, then you will tell yourself, I'll never go back. I can't go back no more. I got to keep moving forward. I don't have amnesia. I'm going to keep my eyes on Jesus and keep my hands in Jesus' hands because he's the one that died for your sins and died for my sins. And they hung them high and they stretched them wide. Good God, they put nails in one hand and nails in the other. Nails in his feet. Good God of honor. He gave up the ghost and they pierced him in the sun. Water and blood come running down. Good God of honor. But, it, but the story don't end right like there. They took him down off that cross. Put him in a man's bar too. He stayed there all day Friday. He stayed there all day Friday night. He stayed there all day Saturday. He stayed there all Saturday night. Good God about it. But somebody said, Larry, Sunday morning, before the rooster even started to croak, Jesus got up with all power. Power to make it walk right. Power to make it talk right. Power to make you live right. Holy Ghost power. Saving power. Delivering power. Rescue power. Say yeah. Say yeah. Wow. And as Christians, I challenge each and every last one of you to never forget never. what has happened in your life. Never forget what you came from. Never forget what Jesus did for you. Because when you won't forget, then you 
you can always tell yourself, I'll never go back. Yeah. I won't go back, can't go 